ISIS. ISIS, ISIS, ISIS. Everybody is talking about ISIS or ISIL or whatever their name is currently and the Middle East. And what I'm here to tell you is that ISIS is no longer a terrorist organisation. And I'll go through my reasoning for that very shortly. But ISIS is a nation state now. It is a country. In fact, it's bigger than many countries. And Obama's very recent request to Congress that they authorise his use of force against ISIS is quite mad. <laughs> Unless you realise what the actual purpose of it is. And the actual purpose is that he wants to limit any actions that the US military can take against ISIS. And the limitations are the permission will only last for three years. So any subsequent pres presidents would have to go through justification and there'd just be an awful lot of hoops for them to jump through. So really there wouldn't be any revenge attacks. And he's also said no boots on the ground. So we're talking airstrikes only again and we've all found out how effective those aren't against ISIS. It's very difficult to mount airstrikes on an enemy with a poorly defined um, grasp of what their leadership is, no idea of where their leadership is, it just really can't be done. So let's have a look and see what all the fuss is about ISIS, how big they are. So I'm saying that ISIS or ISIL or Islamic State or whatever you care to call it is in fact a country. Now from some maps this is actually quite difficult to see um, and this is deliberate. Here is a BBC map of the areas controlled by Islamic State. Now this is what the BBC say that basically Islamic State controls the areas around highways so here we've got the major highways that run through Syria and Iraq. And they're saying, oh, the, but there's support for them somewhere else. And these areas which are yellow, there's supposed to be no support for Islamic State. And these areas that are pink, oh, they're big Islamic State attacks. Well, there are things that are wrong with this map. Surprise, surprise. First of all, most of these areas that are shown in yellow, there's nothing there to control. Most of these areas that are shown in yellow are desert. So this is a bit of a disingenuous way of, of attempting to say, well, you know, they don't control these areas, therefore, the thing is there's nothing there to control. <laughs> Madness. The next thing, they're saying, these are the areas where the support for Islamic State, these hatched areas, well, <laughs> here you've got places where major Islamic State attacks are going on and going on as we speak, all the way down to the bottom of the country here. Are you telling me that Islamic State are able to get from here to there and mount a big attack when there's no support for them? Please. And even in Damascus and over the border in Turkey, we know that things are going on. <coughs> this map is just totally and utterly wrong. So let's have a look at the Daily Mail article. Extremist group has doubled the land it controls in just a few months, despite more than 800 coalition airstrikes. This is what I've said before. Here's Obama's new policy. No boots on the ground. We're only going to do airstrikes and have advice and all the rest. Of it. Well, we can see how effective that is. 
it has no effect whatsoever on ISIS because they can't be decapitated. You don't know where their leaders are. A lot of the leaders, you don't really know who they are. So there we go. And they reckon that they've worked to halt the group's march through Iraq. Well, sorry, they're attacking down here. I think maybe it's just this area of Iraq that the US is interested in defending for some reason perhaps because it's nearest to Saudi Arabia. So, yeah. So, here's another map showing the area controlled by ISIS. ISIS controlled area. And this is what it was like in August 2014. And this is what it's like now. This red hatched area plus the green is what they control now. Hmm, okay. And the Americans aren't interested in defending Syria at all, obviously. They're interested in defending Iraq. Hmm, okay. <laughs> And even this map is wrong because it doesn't show that there's these attacks all the way down here and <coughs> it's a bit closer to the truth, but it's still wrong. So let's get rid of that. Now, here is a, a better map that shows just how much of Iraq and Syria that ISIS control and even this one still doesn't show these bits down here where they're attacking it stops up here but the, it shouldn't do it should be attacks down there so you can see that at the moment ISIS are really pretty big now what else do ISIS do they control a lot of people, they control millions of people, and they have a big oil business. So we can see here the statement is the Islamic State has consolidated its grip on oil supplies in Iraq and now presides over a sophisticated smuggling empire with illegal exports going to Turkey, Jordan, who are supposedly a US ally, and Iran. And you can read this for yourself. And this is how the oil travels. We buy an oil tanker carrying 26 to 28 tonnes of oil for $4,200. We sell it in Jordan for $15,000. Each smuggler takes eight tankers a week. So in actual fact, Islamic State is engaged in international trade. Hmm. Another thing that makes them a state. But let's look at the countries. How big is Islamic State? Well, let's go back to this article. I think there's something in here where there are estimates. And these estimates are going as high as 35,000 square miles. I've seen 12,000 square miles and now I've seen 35,000 square miles. So let's have a look at countries and how big countries are. 
we're looking for 25,000 square miles nearly there so Islamic State are as big or bit no they're bigger than <laughs> Sri Lanka Lithuania Latvia Norway Togo Croatia and you remember we had big battles in Croatia Islamic State are bigger than that now Costa Rica Dominican Republic and you could go on in fact they're bigger than Denmark the Netherlands bigger than Switzerland so it does indeed make sense to say that they're no longer a terrorist organization but they are in fact a state even if you go by the definition of 12,000 square miles they're still bigger than Belgium still bigger than Armenia so by the the meanest definition of their territory they're bigger than let me see Belgium is ranked 140 140 away from 249 they're bigger than more than a hundred countries in the world so definitely a state and if you found this helpful useful or informative then please like share and subscribe thank you very much